Right, we're here at Heart Hill Res today and we're fishing zigs. So what I'm going to do is uh, go through how I set up my spod mix that's going to be ideal for fishing up in your fillets on the zigs or if you wanted to go and fish on the bottom during the night times or the daytime if the, if the weather changes or anything like that so you've got the best of both worlds. Right, so I've got a bucket. I've probably got about an inch of water in the bottom. Uh, but what I like to do first is add all my liquids so I can mix them all together. So to create a cloud in the water, I like to use uh, evaporated milk. So I'll put a tin of this into the water. And then along with, I like to add a good splash of hemp oil so this can float up and down the layers of the water and draw fish in uh, from, all, from all levels. So give that a good dosing of hemp oil. And the next thing I like to add is our Ballistic V food bait. Uh, this gives a nice sweet smelling, uh, like a cloudy effect in the water as well. So a good splash of that. What I like to do then is just give it a good mix up. Like so, and then what I like to do is add probably two or three handfuls of sweet corn. Because as I'm fishing black and uh, yellow zigs out in the water, as the corn floats down through the, the layers of the lake, of the lake bed, it's all uh, mimic that piece of corn. So I like to put a few flakes of this in there as well. And I add some of our Mulberry Mania spod mix. This has got like chickpeas, uh, all sorts of little bits and bobs, grain, maize, crushed tigers, all sorts of bits in there. Add some of that in there. Just a couple of handfuls each time. I don't like to make too much spod mix. Put a couple of handfuls of this on, this is a stinky fish. All right, give that a mix up. There we go. Next thing I like to add, I've got a small tub here of our um, carp pellets. So I'll put a few of them in. Like so. And then I like to add some of our new infusion, which is not out in the shops yet, but I like to crush a few of these up. Just gives it a bit more bulk for when you're casting and stuff, so it's not so watery and so light. Put a couple of handfuls of them in. So that'll mix around. Right, and then what I've got now is just normal ground up white ground bait. Now this is used to soak in some of the water and the flavors and stuff like that and basically and bulk it out so it's not too watery. So I add a little bit of this at a time. If you add it too quickly, too much, it can go really thick and stodgy. And you want it like a bit like a, a soupy ground bait, soft mix. So just keep adding a bit at a time, keep mixing it up. Remember, when you put it in, you can't take it back out again if it's too much. Then just keep gradually stirring it all in. And eventually it all starts to bind together, create a nice soupy mix. Just there we go. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. So that's roughly that will thicken up a little bit once the ground bait soaked up a little bit so and that's literally about how you want it that consistency 